Hello, Olivia here. This sequence is designed to help you get a strong stretch through the front of the arm all around the elbow, front and a little bit towards the back, right down through the forearms and we can get some interesting sensations in the wrists and even into the hands a little bit. All you'll need in terms of equipment is a stick or a dowel or you could use your broom handle, assuming you have a broom in your house. Many of you will have done a sequence for the shoulders which looks like this. You hold the stick with a hand width that's comfortable for you so that you can explore full range of movement of the shoulder joint as you take the stick up and over and back. Typically when you explore this range of movement to emphasize the shoulder joint we keep the chest lifted and the shoulders drawn back. So everything's opened out across the chest. But because in this sequence we want to emphasize the arm and down through the forearms and across the elbow joints, we're going to position the shoulders differently. But to begin with, take your stick up just above your head, breathe deeply into the top of the chest, gently grab the stick, so I'm squeezing a little bit with my hands, and then explore adding some wrist bending, wrist extension. And even adding that movement, when there's not really a big stretch through the shoulders or the arms, you start to feel the stretch come down through the forearm, or at least I do, quite strongly. And then you can play with some movements forward and backwards. Again, it's just to feel what your forearms and wrists feel like today. Good. All right, then bring the stick forward. For the full effect in the arm, we're going to try and have the shoulders positioned a long way forward, rounded forward, and I'm following that with the spinal movement. So just imagine someone's gently pressing into your chest and you're really rounding and having the shoulders forward. Then we'll take the arms up and over again, but we'll try and have them a little bit further back now, back as in physically back behind you, and then do some little pulsing, little pulsing just to work out the range through there. And you can play with pulling the shoulders forward even more and then resume that pulsing. As well as gently grabbing on with my hands, I'm trying to attempt to pull the hands apart on the stick. They won't move, so it's just an attempt to do that action. And then here, go back to more wrist bends. So I'm rolling or bending at the wrists and the stick will roll back as well. That's quite intense now for me, right across the front of the elbows, right down the forearms and into around the base of the thumb is what, how I'd describe it. Good. Then I'm going to add some side to side movements. I'm going to my left first. I'm actively pulling a little bit more with the left hand and pushing a little bit with the right hand and then roll the left shoulder forward even more. Wow, that winds on the forearm elbow stretch, but it's also now a strong bicep stretch. Then add some movements of the stick, rolling with the hands. You can see the movement, I'm sure, on camera. A little bit more side, add a tiny bit of rotation. Changing the positioning in small ways will affect the stretch. So then we'll do the other side. Now I'm emphasizing the right side, so I'm rolling that shoulder forward. Resume the little movements of the hands, both. Pull more with the right, push a bit more with the left. You can try squeezing the stick with both hands and then relaxing it a little bit. So squeeze really brings all those forearm muscles into strong awareness. Take a breath in and then relax that. Good. Come back to the center position, roll both shoulders forward a little bit more, and then actively press the stick out behind you, out behind you. Bring lengthening effect, roll the shoulders forward even more. And when you're ready to come out, big breath in and bring the stick forward. So for me, on both sides, the main emphasis initially was all around here, very powerful. Then it started to radiate down through the forearms here. But when I did the final thing of really emphasizing this movement, then it became a very powerful bicep stretch as well.
Wow, that is so freeing for those elbows, forearms and front arm muscles. So give that one a go.